a free car show and much, much more. Enjoy the show. Funny the freak here, yeah. or else, Wigan or Lolly, Funny the freak, host. I present a tale of a girl, a demon, an exorcism for your pleasure, my, my children, Wigan and I. I am a Catholic priest sent by my orders at the Vatican to perform an exorcism on an old political dog in the ancient city of Arara in Iraq. Whilst in the process of exorcism, I find an ember that resembles a sexual person, a demon of ancient origins, of which history Merlin is familiar. A powerful spirit demon who is, ba- so who is bad to defeat. I just hope I have stopped him in time, or I not I if not I fear for the world. In all of his heaven, England, a young actress by the name of Chris McNeil is living on location with a twelve year old daughter Regan. She is starring in a movie about a student activism, directed by a friend and associate Burke Brennings, a bit of an art movie kind. After playing with a Ouija board region and a sleep over friends, end up contacting a ghostly spirit, whom he, whom he called Captain Abbey. Regan begins acting strangely, involving, including making mysterious noises, stealing constantly, using the same language, and it's a too normal and normal strengths. Is at first put down to a mother as normal teenage behaviour. As a mother is not one for conflict, who would like to get on with a lot of a script. For the latest film, Chris hosts is a party during which Reagan comes downstairs and announces, tells one of the guests, an astronaut, that he will die up there, and then urinates on the floor, much to discuss some other. And the guest, Reagan is told to apologise to the astronaut dressed guest and clean the mess. She does neither. As a guest, dressed as an astronaut is getting in his car, he thinks to himself about reading a strange religion. Then he starts an engine and goes on his journey alone. As he's going along the motorway, a car, police car flags it down. He thinks it must be his wet tail light. He stops at the cold shoulder and awaits as a police officer approaches and winds down his window. A police officer has a strange, blank expression in his heart face, a deadpan voice. He asks the man to please depart from his car. As the astral dressed man stands, he suddenly, with an extreme violence set upon, one police officer, who is carrying a large knife in his hands, and calmly hacks at the astral dressed man until he's dead. The police officer then puts down the knife and gets back in the car, leaving the crimson red cadaver of the, of the, at the, astral up on the floor, with the words written in the work blood, up there by his side. A police officer then drives his car with high speed straight at Lowy, killing them instantly on impact. Him instantly on impact. In bed, Regan begins to shake wildly, turning Annie to her father's aura as she walks from the entrance of her mother's daughter's room. Chris consults a number of physicians, Dr. Clean and his associates, find nothing so physiological wrong. And of her daughter, despite Regan undergoing a matrix of diagnosis tests, various departments at North Devon District Hospital in parts of Devon. One night, when Chris is out on late night filming, she asks Burke but Dennings to babysit a heavily dissated Regan. Burke liked his babysitting job as he waited until his employer, Chris, left the house and checked out Regan, being lay up like a light. Due to sedation, we went downstairs and casually helped himself to some snacks, a bottle of whiskey, and put on a television to watch a box set. While watching the television, he heard a voice calling from upstairs. At first, he annoys it. Then the voice gets louder. Puck goes upstairs to investigate that he's not being really not playing a trick on him. As he peers around the door leading to Regan's room, he finds himself being pulled by a visible force towards the bedroom. But Bedroom window. Chris is informed at her film scene. They, they arrive to see the call, saying she's needed at home straight away. As Chris enters the driveway, he sees the broken figure, Burke, who has died falling out of the window. Although this is assumed to have been an accident, a Burke's history of heavy drinking. His death is investigated by Lieutenant William Cook, Kinderman. Kinderman interviews Chris, who informs him of Wiggins' recent year. Years of elderly wealth check by vice viruses, Dr. Klein, recently seen a death for his frail mother. Dr. Klein's mother died of a heart attack. 
in a strange language expression on her face. The doctor tells you Lieutenant that Wiggins' preparations are mostly psychological in origin and to bizarrely recommends that exorcism should be performed with reasoning and believing in oneself to be possessed can sometimes be cured by believing that exorcism works as well. Chris arranges a meeting with me and is discussed about the daughter Wiggins acquiring her exorcism which I agreed to perform to give her a peace of mind and feed my curiosity. On my first visit, see Regan, she speaks backwards in different voices and exhibits scars in the form of her words ill meat on her stomach. I am convinced that Regan is possessed. Believing her soul is in danger, I decide to perform an exorcism. The spirit's moaning is selected for performing the actual exorcism, me insisting. We both witness Regan perform a series of bizarre vulgar acts as we attempt to exorcise a demon, a stubborn entity, toys with him, especially me. I show my weakness and I am dismissed by Merlin, who attempts to murder alone, which is against Vatican policy, with dealing with a possible demonic entity. I went in a room late and discover that Merlin had died of a heart attack. After failing to believe Merlin, I used to become a rage, confront the mocking, laughing spirit, and I wrestle with his body around. At my intervention, it leaves Reagan's body possess his mind, he said. At the moment of self-sacrifice, I throw myself out the window. If all I can be compelled to harm Regan, I am morally literally injured. Father Joy, an old friend of mine, happens upon the scene and ministers the last rites of his friend. A few days later, Regan now back to nor- a normal self, pays the leave for Los Angeles. Oh, mother, I know Regan has no apparent recollection of her possession. She's missed the sight. Mubo cited Derek Dyer's clerical collar to kiss her on the cheek. Kinnaman, who narrowly misses their departure, defends Father Dreyer as he investigates my death, from which he seems to be only written. When it seems that all his name is written all over the wall, Pazard lives again. For all of you, you are known to the priests, fighting in the spirit of Pazu, was used to, he used a reverse as well, but for his as I jumped out the window, and the face looking in the mirror sitting in the room at Los Angeles was not vegan. It's a demon Pazu, which is now proud owner of vegan's soul. The story is loosely based on the film The Exorcist, on 1973 supernatural horror of directed by William Franklin, a producer written by Screen by William Peter Berkeley, based on 1971, novel the same name by Berkeley. Film stars Ellen Berksley, Fun, Mix Van Snow, Lee J. Cobb, Katie Wynn, Jack McGovern, his film, Final Film Run, Jason Miller, and Linda Blur. In their first assignment on his exorcism film series, I follows the minute procession of a child with your girl and her mother's had to rescue her through an exorcism conducted by two priests. <laughs>